guys so today is wednesday and i don't normally vlog on a wednesday because it's hack day um but i am gonna include some of the hacking but the reason i'm vlogging today is because i'm doing my first paid partnership with a company called black dog biomechanics and it's basically you know when people ride around and they look at your position um and they put those funky things i'm not explaining this very well basically it's like checking your position checking if you're straight um and there's a reason this one's different to the other ones um the lady who runs it came a couple of weeks ago basically to show me how it all works because I really wanted to make sure like I truly believe in the company that I'm gonna be showing you guys and working with um, and I thought it was awesome so that is why we're here today so she's coming at one o'clock I think and I'm gonna do it on Wilf probably which he's not gonna be very happy about because he's going to be pulled out of bed and he'll have been hacked so he will think he's getting worked again but it's really easy like it's you literally just have to trot up the centre line, walk up the centre line, canter up the centre line. So it's super easy for the horses. Um, but I'll get her to explain everything more when she's here. But that is what we're doing today. So yeah, really interesting. Um, oh, you guys will notice my short hair. Whoosh. Look at it. Look at it. Whoa. Um, the reason I chopped it off is because uh, I know everyone was like, oh, long hair for the win. But honestly, unless you have it and it's really thick, you will not understand the annoyance of it. And I was literally just tying it up and it was giving me a headache and it was getting so knotty all the time. And I either had it like on a bun in my, on top of my head and it looked awful or like in a ponytail, it was like, pfft, like a fox's tail. Or I wore it down and I never styled it. So this way, it's kind of like always styled. Um, so I might get it a little bit shorter, just a little bit. But, um, yeah, sorry, just whoosh, verging off. Uh, but anyway, let's go and take the ponies for a hack. Things if you're trying to eat the camera. Right, that's not gonna work. There'll be no footage of me tacking baby bell up because she's trying to eat the camera. Molly, to my over the camera. Look at the camera. I didn't. Oh, look at the way. He's like, no, I'm doing that staring into the distance pose. Chase the apples. Go. Chase them. Because sausage is such a brat, he had to have a quick, quick kick installed which squirts him if he kicks oh dear we're not mean we're looking after you it's not good for your legs <laughs> now he says go on i dare you no he did i won't do it Boop. 
are you speaking at? You're meant to be the oldest and most experienced. He always does a little snort now coming out their gate. Oh. Here are you bringing up the rear? So we were contesting with the harvesting season on our hats. So um, there wasn't much filming going on. So hacking is all done and it's 12.30 and Ilsa is coming at one. So we haven't got long to wait. Sausage is gonna be so upset that I re-tack him up, but it's fine. He'll get over it. Um, they're all good on the hack. Yeah, just like I said before, there's a lot of tractors going around so um it's quite hard to maneuver but it's fine it won't be for long uh yeah so ilsa's just arrived and we we're just having a little chat and um she's getting her stuff out of the car and lulu's weed up her table going well um so ilsa is here and i had to ask her how to say her name because <laughs> it happens a lot is that the elsa out of frozen yeah, I do get that a lot. It's sort of has helped because oh. people now have a rough guess of how to say my name. Oh, Fine. nice. I love it. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's just arrived and we are about to set everything up and then get sausage ready. But I thought it'd be a good time for her to explain a little bit about it because I have no idea. So, <laughs> Well, the general premise is that we spend a lot of time focusing on our horses. Yeah. And not a huge amount of focusing on us. So true. So it's very well, you know, so we're trying to lift scales of training, making sure our horses are straight. Yeah. But there's no good in making a horse straight if we're hanging off to one side. Yeah, so true. But the other problem is it's super hard to tell. Because yeah. we all of us, like I'm standing now, standing on one leg, one hip. And it's a tough, you know, that's the habit. Yeah. We do exactly the same when we're on a horse. And riding, you're thinking about so many different things. Yeah, and it feels natural, so you feel like you're straight. Mm. So the whole idea of what I've been doing is to develop something where it, it tracks your upper body. Yeah. So it shows you unequivocally um, whether you're sort of tipping forward, yeah. whether you're dropping your shoulder, whether you're twisting. Whether that, you're was it the twisting one that was I'd never seen before? Yeah. I've seen the left and right and the back and forward, but it was the twist. So the difference per back system that I've got is it's 3D. So all you have oh, to do is put on a jacket and the computer does the rest and it tracks where you are in 3D. So then so it can yeah. tell if you go forward. One of the things that's quite difficult to tell is if you just look in a 2D camera, you do it here. It's hard to tell whether you're dropping a shoulder or whether you're twisting. twisting. And so that is one of the benefits of the way that yeah. we've developed in this sort of this system Amazing. is that you can tell the difference. So clever, cool. So we're gonna go and set it up and have a go. The um, camera is set up and I'm going to put the little jacket on. It's a good job I chopped my hair off because it would never... Yeah. <laughs> Try that one for size. Um, I have different sizes as well. It needs to fit quite snugly but you still need to be able to breathe. I have a slightly larger one. Oh no! That is my tiniest one to be fair. Oh no it fits. Yeah. Excellent. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Very fashionable. Yeah, imagine if I like, forgot it was on and go to like Tesco's or something. I'm going to get the sausage now. Sausage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, Dottage. Oh, we said mummy. I worked already. So we're about to do the riding bit and do you want to explain what we have to do? Okay, it's pretty simple. So all that you as a rider have to do is go down the centre line straight. <laughs> it's not that simple. <laughs> Easier said than done. Dressage ride is terrible at centre lines, everyone knows that. <laughs> um, so all you need to do is go down the centre line um, straight in trot and in canter. Yeah. Um, and the first thing we have to do is do a calibration because obviously everybody's body is slightly put together slightly differently and so that jacket you're wearing, the very trendy one, <laughs> will fit differently on everybody. And it's super important that we then get you in your perfect position because obviously if in this bit you're sort of hanging off to the right then everything after that would be wrong. Yeah. So we have to get you perfect, get him nice and square, you in a perfect position. And then after that we'll compare everything else as you're riding to that perfect position. Nice. So Wicked. nice and easy. And um, I'm going to do it in trot, rising trot, canter and then some sitting trot.
stage away and the riding bit is all done it was really easy um quite quick actually and i was a little bit nervous before because i haven't had my back done i do feel a little bit like locked on my right side uh, so I was just nervous because I really wanted it to be like perfect because I'm a recovering perfectionist and I really wanted to be like sat straight and it to be good and blah blah blah, blah. but I was just thinking when I was attacking Will if, if I'm not straight then that's fine because then I can improve from that and move forward from that and at least I know whereas if I just shoved my head in the sand and been like I'm fine everything's fine then I wouldn't get better from it so it can be hard sometimes to look at yourself for improvements but it's also really important. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is go back to see the videos, um, check them out, and yeah, go from there. Um, so we're just gonna look at the video. I've had a little sneak peek already, but we had to leave the school because the tree cutters are noisy. <laughs> Shock. Um, but yeah, should we, yeah, go for it. So each time you're at Dennis Centre Line, you get a report, so each video we did, and it's basically um, how you're positioned, it's a couple of different key positional metrics, Yeah. Um, and it's on average, and so what we have here, and it's colour coded. So you can see straight away that you're pretty much green. Can I put this on? Yeah, sure. Uh, you can see from here you're pretty much green and orange, so you can do it like a traffic light system, so green is absolutely fabulous, perfect. Orange are things just to be aware of. Red is like, hmm, I think we need to work on this. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging off. But as you all see, there are no reds. So that's Yay. super good. So like I say, key positional metrics. So are you tipping forward? So you're not. Mm -hmm. Are you hunching your shoulders? Which you're not. You are, however, leaning over to the right ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. And you're also dropping your shoulder to the right yeah. ever so slightly. And before I came up, I was saying to the camera about like my right side of my back feeling tighter so that yeah and just this is in the canter so this, i guess that's just where your hips just a little bit tighter your hips aren't just coming through quite enough mm -hmm. um so maybe a bit of physio nice yeah excuse to have a massage yeah <laughs> um but you're not twisting your shoulders and you're not twisting your body so you're yes. nice and straight i mean to be honest with all the sins leaning over slightly to the right no, that's nothing yeah. yeah so that's super good so you should be super happy with that yay um i'm and so competitive i'm like <laughs> well wait for it um, <laughs> Um, and so you have a little diagram for each one of those to sort of say actually what, where was I relative to perfect. Yeah. And so the blue line is you and the red line is where perfect is and you are pretty much dead on. So that was the pitch. Right. And that was your hunching, you are not hunching at all. That's to be honest, that's the most common thing I see is people just rounding their shoulders. Yeah. That is my sin. I used to do that all the time. Yeah. Like all the time. And you know, it's not terrible but it just kind of ruins the picture when yeah, you're doing your definitely. dressage. So nice and upright. But this is what I mean, ever so slightly just leaning over to the right. That's so interesting. So it's it's not massive. Wow. But just, you know, like yeah. something like when you're doing the changes. And what's really interesting is I'd beat myself up thinking I'm literally falling yeah. off the right. Yeah. And I think no, it's good cool. to see that exactly actually, what it is. Yeah, sometimes it's, this works two ways. Sometimes I get people it's like, I'm terrible, I'm crooked, and then you, you get the report back and actually everything's green. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, wow. But then the other side is somebody's hanging off and they don't notice it. So, you know, yeah. it can work both ways. Yeah. And it's just quite nice to have somebody can see what it is they're doing. Mm -hmm, definitely. And as well, so when we do, when I do the clinics, we do a before and an after. Yeah. So people can have a benchmark of their progress, you know, so yeah. if they are hunching up. And you kind of help them in between how to straighten up. Yeah. So we focus purely on the rider, so it's an hour where we don't, as long as the horse is going and isn't being silly, yeah. <laughs> which sometimes, you know, it's it not happens. necessarily it a given. <laughs> um, yeah, we just focus purely on the rider. Generally, take people's stirrups away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. And also get people to lengthen the strips. I yeah. Quite a lot of people ride quite short and in the knee roll. But yeah, yeah. so it sort of as a, a benchmark of where you are, and you can track your prog progress over time as well, which is quite nice. So you oh, can actually cool. see the improvement. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you're training and training and training, and you're like, oh, I don't think I've made any improvement. But then you see this where it's down on paper, mm, and then you yeah, can see that there is. So it's having the. Um, where you can look back at yeah, stuff really like benchmark. So last yeah. time I was tipping forward by 10 degrees, this time I'm sitting upright or it's only five. So nice. I find that, for me personally, I find that really useful. Yeah. And so, yeah, no twist in the shoulders, nice and straight, ditto body, ever so slightly, but it's that's nothing. 
Okay, so that was the first canter. Second canter. Yay! Ooh, green. So it does seem like, obviously when the horse canters, it's asymmetric. Yeah. So on the first rein, I think the first rein... I got perfect! Yes! So on the first rein, that was the right canter, and this is the left canter. So I think... That's maybe, interesting, because yeah. the left canter feels worse for me. Really? Mm. That's interesting. Maybe because your back is moving more, and so you're feeling a little bit more like it's... That's so true, I've never really thought yeah, about that. Yeah, so then it, you're feeling yourself go into maybe that Maybe I bit. hold myself more on the right. Yeah, it's possible. So, mm. fabulous, there's not much to say about that, other than... Mm. Nice. Mm. So that was a trot, let's look at this, sorry, that was a canter, let's look at this sitting trot. So, mostly green, just a little bit of rolling off to the right again. Yeah. But you're not dropping your shoulder, so that was purely a body thing. Mm -hmm. So it's just ever so slightly to the right. It's very slight and the amber there is probably a little bit unfair. <laughs> but it, it's, that's why it's more of a just, just be aware of this rather yeah. than having to fix it. So, and you can cool. see there's different levels of green and amber, so it's nice. yeah, really good. Amazing. And so the final sitting trot. So each time you've still got those little images. Oh good, we're back on green. Back on green. Again, that is the left ring. So you're slightly better yeah. on the left than the right. Oh, this is amazing. So that's sitting trot and canter. So But yeah, you should definitely be pleased with that. That is super good. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to see yourself as a stick figure as well. Oh nice. Oh yeah, I think I saw this one last time. Mm -hmm. But this time it's you. So the system makes the 3D model, that's how I can get whether you're tipping or twisting. Yeah. And so this is what the 3D model actually looks like as a stick figure. So the graphics could use improving, you think it's not CGI that's gonna win an Oscar anytime soon, but you get the general gist. This is amazing. So yeah, so this is you from the side, from the top, and then from the back. And you can see exactly what your body's doing and your shoulders are doing so this, with each stride. So that right leg goes a bit lower. So this is so the bits in grey are sort of where I'd approximated where your legs are. So this is where I can tell where your hips are and your shoulders. And so the legs are just sort of attached to it. Mm, interesting. So there is amazing. So this basically for the before you had the average. So for any some reason you could be tipped forward for the first half and tipped right back for the second half, yeah. and your average would come out green. But this is every single stride, every single frame. You That's can see exactly yeah. what you're doing. So I find yeah. the combination of both of those gives you a really nice picture of what it is you're doing. Yeah, it's really clever. I can't believe you did, like designed all this. Oh, thank you. But you're saying like she did all the coding and stuff. Well, yeah. So. It kind of came about because I did a PhD mm. and I had no money. Uh, because I was a student at B, I have a horse. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Everyone can go that. So I wasn't doing any training and I could definitely feel that my position was <laughs> not great. Yeah. Um, and I was doing some tracking work. So mm -hmm. I was working on um, tracking the eyes of mantis shrimp, first of all, actually, my PhD. The eyes of what? Mantis shrimp. <laughs> Think alien lobster. That's anyway, so funny. about as far away from horses you can get. But I was doing tracking of something in 3D, and I kind of thought, hang on, I could use that on yeah. me. So I looked like a bit of a prat at my livery yard for a while, just trotting around. That's amazing. <laughs> Probably the only person that's ever programmed on a mountain block in gloves. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> um, bless, yeah, my horse, yeah, bless him, you just. I mean, he didn't mind, he meant he to work, but yeah. yeah so I'd do a little yeah. bit and jump off and then <laughs> do a little bit on the computer and jump back on. Um, and then it sort of grew from there, you know, uh, try it out on friends and yeah. I think Incredible. it could be useful for lots of different people, so. Amazing. Awesome. So I can put all that in there, can't I? Yeah. <sighs> so we are all done now and it was amazing, learnt loads. So, if you guys want to find um, Black Dog Biomechanics, where can they find you? Uh, lots of different places. So, we're on Facebook, so at Black Dog Biomech. Uh, if you just type in Black Dog Biomechanics, it should come up. Um, and also, we have our website, so www.blackdogbiomech.com. Mm -hmm. So, we have lots of different uh, clinics all around the country, um, and I'm currently looking for more venues. So, if anybody wants to book me, then get in touch. So, how many people can be in a clinic? Um, in the winter, so I tend to do the clinics outdoors because mm -hmm. the light is just better and it's just easier. Yeah. It is everything's rainproofed, 
because obviously we live in England. <laughs> um, so in the winter I say about eight sessions. Yeah. So I could do one-to-ones or do um, shared sessions. Okay. Amazing. So either eight riders or 16. So Nice. So there we go guys. Go and check it out. It's really worth it. Oh, what's your prices? Oh, so for a one-to-one it's £35 mm -hmm. um, and if you share a session it's 25 Amazing. And if you want to do an extra slow motion, which we didn't go into today, then mm -hmm. that's an extra five pounds on top of it. But so I do recommend that. It's really affordable. It's definitely worth it. And then you can also show your trainer the footage as well. Oh yeah, definitely. And so this, oh, yeah, I definitely am not replacing your trainer. So this is something you can show them. You bring your trainer along if you want yeah, to. Yeah. Um, and work with them. And um, yeah. Amazing. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'm sure you can answer. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, and give it a thumbs up and we'll see you for the next one.